Jack Dorsey says Noster is counterculture today and has the potential to stay that way. The open and wildly decentralized development model keeps it punk. Um, so that, that's that's an interesting assertion because he's saying, you know, he's, he's it's kind of saying the medium is the message here and that just the very design of Noster is going to keep it that way. It's going to keep that that punk ethos indefinitely. Um, do you think that's right? Or is it going to kind of evolve new norms as the user base, if and when the user base grows? When I learned about Noster, it was like a little bit too early. And, and you know, these guys were playing that I was too busy with Bitcoin. Uh, and then I, I think it came back a few months ago. I was like, okay, well, holy crap. Like this thing is really sort of like, now the clients work. Wheels, Dumb's client was like, this is great. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, I think Jack joined uh, as well, and you know, like he he sort of did a little bit of an infusion of uh, of uh, cash and uh, and and attention, and uh, and that project sort of like taken off, like it's working, um, and uh, it's it's been a, it's been a blast. Here's an example of I think this post from Odell uh, really distills down the Noster <laughs> culture. Uh, it's going to make no sense to anybody who has not been on the network. Pura Vita, stay humble and stack sets and then kind of hang hang loose yeah. emoji. Underneath there it says PV, hang loose. Uh, what does any of that mean? Go ahead, Will. <laughs> uh, you integrated just... into the client. <laughs> so Jack has had a huge influence on at least the Damas client. So, <laughs> you know, so... Right when he started joining, he would do the, the shaka, the hang loose emoji to every yeah, person yeah. who joined. So eventually we changed the like button to, uh, the, which was a heart on Twitter. We changed it to the shaka. So it's like, because it makes more sense. And and Jack agreed. It's like, well, you know, it's just, anyway. Um, so, you know, kind of, the culture is kind of like getting, is evolving. And we're kind of integrating it into the client over time. And Pure Vita, I think, is a, a term from, uh, you know, Costa Rica or something, where it just means pure life. And it's, I don't know, it just, it kind of took, it just, it took off and now we use it for everything. And so, so it's, it's, got, it's got that, uh, you know, Jack it's, it's Dorsey, a positive like, attitude, master, like laid back vibe to it. That's uh, yeah. kind of, and it's, I mean, it yeah. seems like a, a, a bit of surfer culture kind yeah. of thrown in a, in a positive way. It, you know, I, I think we, we should definitely bring up to this audience that uh, Jack was uh, like a Walmart greeter uh uh for uh <laughs> for like pretty much everybody who joined on the first on the on the yeah. big wave that came in what was it three four three months ago two months ago uh it, it was uh it was fun to see uh he's so still what does doing that it. say to you the fact that the founder of twitter is certainly it's he's got to be the most high profile backer he's certainly put you know the most money uh into the project what does jack dorsey's involvement mean for Noster? It's validating, right? I mean, you know, Will, like you closely like more working. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's interesting because, you know, he, he said this is what this was a big post that he did on Austria. He's like, this is what Twitter felt like at 5000 users, but right. better. And so I feel like, Jack, this is kind of what he always wanted to build is a, an open free speech protocol that's like real time. It reminds him a lot. Like it's nostalgic to him from the early days of Twitter when um, so, cause Nostra's actually was very much like what it felt like in the early days of Twitter, more real time and like open protocol, open APIs. So I think he's like, yeah, nostalgic. And he just wants to, you know, he wants to like take that, ex what he had in the early days of Twitter and he, and, he, and relive it in Nostra and build it out. So it's kind of cool. You, you Can know, I, what's, yeah, guys. yeah, sorry guys. Like what's really cool is that like, he is contributing a lot financially too, to a lot of projects. Uh, and, and like, but the community itself is doing as well. Uh, we, we actually have a website, bountsr.org, where people put bounties uh, for features and projects and people are building like this Habla.news and, mm -hmm. uh, and there were others. So uh, so if, if you're a dev out there watching this, uh, do, do go check out and, and participate. A couple of years ago at the uh, Bitcoin Miami conference, uh, Alex Gladstein of Human Rights Foundation interviewed Jack Dorsey, who I, you know, I think. I, I find Jack Dorsey to be the most inspiring and very tech leader that we have. And he was talking about how Twitter never should become the platform where people speak, but it should, you know, the, the internet or there should be a Twitter of Twitters. There should just be, a, you know, a kind of a utopia of utopias. Um, you know, it's a very libertarian, very dispersed, very decentralized things. Two questions. 
part of the power of Twitter, and this is also true of Facebook and before it, it was true of, you know, AOL uh, back when it had a walled garden, is that it is a place where lots and lots of people are. And is there is there a necessary trade off between the size of the audience, which gives things a lot of power and a lot of meaning and the ability to kind of control your experience or to have maximum freedom is that just is that just the trade-off that's one question and then the second one is there a way that you can see or or has jack dorsey talked about this of integrating nostra with twitter so that you can you you know you can participate in twitter without having to worry about you know elon musk has a sugar spot you know blood sugar spike and blocks you forever and ever and like oh you know the past 10 years or 15 years of your fucking life is just locked away from you forever um so so like first of all protocol shouldn't be companies right they should be an open protocol that anybody builds on top um yes twitter could create a client could create a relay tomorrow and <laughs> i mean like twitter could literally push all the tweets into a relay as the author or they could, you know, go really the proper route and create like a key pair for each user and sort of like go mm -hmm. that direction. So, yes, it, it's totally possible that they could participate in this. But at least in my view, like most people don't want freedom. Most people just want a better sell. So right. you have to give people tools for them to sort of like censor the things they want to censor for themselves. And, yeah. you know, and we're going to see this. We're going to see relays where it's like, I don't know, like a PG-13, right? A PG-13 relay where... You know, you, you follow those guidelines and you're okay if your kids go on that relay and, and that's sort of like the, the moral set that you have. And But but the key here is choice, right? Um, it's not preventing the people who do want freedom to have that freedom. Hey, thanks for watching that excerpt from our conversation with NVK and Will Kasarin about Nostra and the future of the decentralized web. Check out the full interview in the description below and tune in every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern to catch these conversations live and subscribe to Recent TV and hit the notifications bell to find out anytime our videos go live.